Take this and, and uh, uh, or, or, or I mean, if, if you don't mind, uh, we, we could go together. Uh, well, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, unless, unless you have other plans this evening. No, I'm Do dying you? to see it. Really? I, oh, I'd great. love to go. Well, I mean... Good, great. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, well. <laughs> In the United States, when someone says you will meet a tall, dark stranger, the woman feels thrilled, and then you think you're going to meet. Antonio Banderas or Josh or Warren Beatty or somebody that's a tall dark stranger. But there is uh, another meaning to it because, uh, you know, there is a tall dark stranger that we all eventually meet, as Josh says in the movie, that we don't really want to meet. And um, so the title is ambiguous. How infuriating will it be if he has his second family before I have my first? Okay. Okay. One must have uh, one's delusions to live. If you look at life too honestly and clearly, uh, life does become unbearable because it's a pretty grim enterprise, you will admit. So uh, I do feel that um, those two people are the only two people that are happy. They are capable of deluding themselves. You know, you looked really pretty tonight. Those earrings now? These? Yeah. I wear them every day. If I saw them at a party in real life, I would think that they were foolish people and dumb and silly and I would laugh at them, but they would be happier than me. So that is the way I feel about it. We will discuss this privately later. <laughs> Whoever this guy is, he's very, very lucky. That's Alan, my fiance. This is my uh, perspective and has always been my perspective on life. I uh, have a very grim, pessimistic view of it. I always have since I was a little boy. It hasn't uh, gotten worse with age or anything. I do feel that it's a grim, painful, nightmarish, meaningless experience. <laughs> Helena Shepherd. Ain't you beautiful? Okay. Gabriella told me you wanted a reading. She says she said you know the future. I adore Gabriella. She's such a gifted masseuse. I must say I've become addicted to those massages. They're the only thing that relieves the throbbing in my neck. Um, will it be cash or check, darling? Gabriella told you the fee. Oh, b believe me, it's far less expensive with these fancy psychiatrists I've been seeing. Have a seat there. Oh. Make yourself comfy. Thank you. For years, I played the romantic lead. And then I couldn't play it anymore because I got too old to play it. And it's no fun just, you know, not playing the guy who gets the girl. So, you know, unless I can think of some way to do it, uh, no. But if I can think of a part for myself or a way to get the girl, uh, then uh, you can imagine how frustrating it is when I do these movies with Scarlett Johansson and the uh, Watts and, and the other guys get them. <laughs> and I'm the director. I'm the, you know, oh, that old guy over there is the director. You know? <laughs> I don't like that. I like to be the one that, uh, that sits opposite them in the restaurant and looks in their eyes and lies to them. <laughs> so, you know, if I can't do that, uh, you know, it's not that much fun to play any movies. Is there, is there something I could sip on? Do you want a cup of tea? Have you any sherry? A little drinky. Scotch? Even better. There is no advantage in getting older. You know, I'm 74 now. You don't get smarter. You don't get wiser. You don't get more mellow. You don't get more kindly. Nothing good happens. Your back hurts more. You get more indigestion. 
your eyesight isn't as good, you need a hearing aid. It's a, a bad business getting old. Uh, and I would advise you not to do it if you want. <laughs> It doesn't have a romantic quality, you know, uh, elderly characters in movies like Gramps, you know, uh, Pop, the backstage doorman or something, and they're wild. Better to be younger and get the girl. I mean, I assume it's hygienic and all, do you know what I mean? Hygienic? Yeah. Are you having a laugh? No, no, just checking. Oh, I won't give you AIDS if that's what you mean. There are not actors or actresses that I care much about working with because you write the script and then whoever's good for the part. You know, I didn't know Lucy at all. I looked at a lot of women. Uh, it wasn't that I wanted to work with Lucy. I didn't know her. But as soon as I saw her work, I wanted to work with her. And usually, it's who's good for the part. Now, having said this, I would like to, uh, um, I always wanted to work with Kate Blanchett, I, I, I never worked with her, and, uh, um, and, uh, she turned Sally down. No, 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 I, I never, I never offered her any, anything ever, uh, I, you know, I never offered her anything, and, and uh, I always wanted to work uh, with Reese Witherspoon, um, and I never offered her anything either. But these are two actresses that I, that I would like to work with because I think they're both very talented. Um, but I don't know them and I've never, you know, had the opportunity to speak with them or deal with them. Or... I mean, you know, I wasn't thinking about AIDS. <laughs>